As you can tell by the title, I am going to go ahead and do some awesome chorizo breakfast burritos with egg. And I'm really excited about it, so I just wanted to do that with you guys today. If you haven't been to my channel before, my name's Madison, and I like to do cooking videos and also mukbang. So if that interests you, please go ahead and subscribe, like the video if you haven't already, and let's go ahead and get into what is happening in here. So, I just started caramelizing onions before I started filming because it takes a while. It takes like 15 minutes, and I didn't want to do that on camera, but I do have them here, so they're just going. This was... <clears throat> one onion but it was like about a medium size and I believe these are like a sweet onion from HEB here I was just defrosting some frozen um, like turkey chorizo that I had it's from Ginny O but they actually stopped making it so if you wanted to make this you just use um, some other chorizo that you'd find um, and I just defrosted it so it'll be nice and easy to cook here with this and I'm just adding it into the onions. And it actually takes like quite a while, like longer than you think to cook this turkey chorizo. I'm not exactly sure why. Also, if you hear anything random, Brandon is just making, uh, he's just playing games in the back. So like, <laughs> he's just doing his thing. He turned the volume down a little bit, but you might be able to hear like a little bit of it. Not like a big deal or anything, but just in case you're curious. But yeah, so it's nice to use chorizo like this because it's already like seasoned and everything. So um, you don't have to worry about really putting too much stuff in here. Chorizo is delicious. The only thing about um, chorizo is that if you were using like a regular sausage chorizo, um, you would need to remove your onions, cook the chorizo, and then take out some of that fat because there's a lot of fat in pork chorizo. What I really appreciate about this is that there's really not that much fat because it's a turkey chorizo. Just meaning that, you know, it's like a turkey sausage seasoned in a chorizo fashion. And it's it was surprisingly good. Like, I really didn't think anything of it whenever I bought it a while back. I started cooking with it about a year ago. Um, about a year and a half ago. And they stopped selling it, I think about six or so months ago. I was so disappointed. I can't even describe how disappointed I was. Because it's so delicious. Anyways. So... I also have some eggs that I put in a bowl. I'm not gonna like mix them together, but you're welcome to if you want to. Um, there is onion powder, garlic powder, some dried chives in here, salt and pepper. Um, is there anything else in here? I'm trying to make sure. I don't think I put anything else in here. No, that's everything, okay. And then I just have some bacon fat here. I'm just gonna add a little bit of the bacon fat um, whenever I am cooking the eggs, because it will need it might need a little bit, honestly, I'll check it out. But this smells amazing, like just the onions and the chorizo together, so ridiculous. Um, and then I have some spinach here and I also have a little bit of some shredded pepper jack to go in here. And then I have some chili garlic sauce and some um, salsa. This is the La Costina um, green salsa, the tomatillo one, it's really delicious. Um, you can make your own, obviously, um, but this is this one here. I'm trying to show you guys, but you know. And then I already, like, heated up some tortillas here. Oops. Heated up some tortillas. Oh, that's why I have the bacon fat. I have the bacon fat because I'm going to toast the tortillas at the end whenever we make the burritos. I was like, why do I have this? And this goes really quick, which is so nice. Um, I also have some tater tots in the oven here and I actually cooked these a little bit longer than you would so on the packaging it says like 20-25 minutes I definitely went like the 25 minutes you want them to be as crispy as possible because they will get um, like they can get soggy really fast so you want them to be super crispy and uh, those are super delicious in this uh, burrito it's amazing Great, so this chorizo is cooked. So I am just gonna make a little, like kind of well in the center. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add my eggs. 
But yeah, putting them in a bowl like that, it just makes it easier to add them. So you're not like sitting cracking eggs and then part of your egg gets overcooked. But it's really just about what you'd like. What I like to do is go ahead and mix them together in the middle first, just a little bit. And then once they set a little bit, I'm gonna mix everything in. But yeah, how are you guys doing today? Please let me know. I am super excited about these because they are so good. We had them yesterday as well, but I used a different, I used a different tortilla. Today I'm trying the ones from Trader Joe's. Yesterday I was just using, using those uh, Guerrero brand tortillas, the one that you um, like cook yourself. Those are so delicious. So I'm just mixing everything in. And everything that I've been cooking is just on a medium heat. <laughs> Mitzi's just being cute over there. I am gonna go ahead and put in some spinach. This is just frozen spinach, just a little bit because um, I just try to add it where I can in like little amounts and that way you get some of the vitamins from it. It's easier to add it like if it's not been sitting out on the counter, but I wasn't really thinking this morning. <laughs> Great, so we are almost done here with this. I'm just waiting for it to set just a little bit more. Thankfully, Brandon and I kind of like our eggs the same way, just like a little bit softer. If you'd like to do a hard scramble, you know, just make your eggs like however you'd like. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add the cheese. And this is just shredded pepper jack, so it'll add some more flavor to it, it's so good. Pepper jack and eggs is like really delicious. <laughs> Great. So this is ready to come off. So I'm just going to set it here. So this is what we have so far. There's the um, caramelized onions, chorizo, cheese, egg. And I'm leaving my heat on because I'm about to use the, um, the burner again in just a second. So doesn't really matter. And then I'm just gonna use this pan because it is a nice pan to get a nice crust on. Um, but I'll just set it right there so hopefully you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. One day I'll have like a really awesome camera set up. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna start putting this in here. And these are those really big um, like burrito size tortillas so they'll be nice for this so you just put some of your filling in there and then um, you just take the tater tots which you just want to put the tater tots in the oven like like pretty much as soon as you think about doing this because you know they do take about 25 minutes and you want them to be cooled down a little bit once you're ready to break them apart because you know they're hot <laughs> Like they're still pretty hot right now, but it's not too bad. And I think I put, I think I put 25 tater tots in there. I mean, that's even less than the amount of hash browns that you get somewhere, so it's not a big deal. So this is the one that I'm making for Brandon. He doesn't like salsa. He likes to pour his salsa on, so I'm not gonna put salsa in here, but in mine I am. And then I'm just gonna fold it up like a burrito. I like mine to be pretty long so that you get a nice bite of everything. So here is the burrito. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the heat now that you guys have seen me do one. Let me just see if it's hot. It's almost there. And then I'm just gonna get some bacon fat, just a little bit, it's like a teaspoon or so. And I'm just gonna let that melt. And I'm still on a medium heat. Medium heat will be hot enough to get a nice crust on these guys. And I'm just toasting them because it just adds so much flavor. So good. Oh, 
And then in mine, I'm just gonna add some of the chili garlic. And I'm gonna put more of the salsa, like a little bit dip as well, so. This salsa is so good with these, ridiculous. And you can also like, I mean, you can leave the tater tots whole, but I just think it's easier to eat if you kind of break them up a little bit. lost a piece of egg there, but that's okay. Cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this down. It was so funny. I was uh, making some burritos with um, Brandon yesterday and he doesn't really have like that much experience in the kitchen just from like, you know, not having it. And <laughs> I was having him do this part and he thought it was so fun to like move the burrito around here. It was so cute. Whoops. I accidentally put this like on the wrong side. Whoopsies. That's okay. There we go. Wow, I just put my hands in super hot bacon grease. Don't do that. So I'm just putting them seam side down in here and that way they can toast up and close. Just be careful whenever you put salt in your mom i am gonna reuse this don't worry okay just be careful whenever you put salt in your egg mixture because the chorizo is super salty so you don't want to um accidentally you know make it where you don't want to eat it so i'm just waiting for these to get kind of toasty on one side and while i'm doing that i'm just putting some of the stuff over in the like sink area just to kind of get myself prepared. It's really good to multitask whenever you're in the kitchen because it does help you whenever you're cleaning later. Like if I weren't filming, like I would be like cleaning some dishes at the moment, but I don't want to leave you guys hanging. I'm just looking for like a little dish to put some salsa in for Brandon. Guess I'll just use this. <laughs> I'm gonna hand him this, he's gonna be like, what the heck? Okay, so we can go ahead and flip these. And whenever I put the spatula under here, I put it where the spatula is like the curved part here is matching the curved part on the burrito. So I don't accidentally push it and open it. So you just want it away from the opening. Yeah, these are getting super toasty. You can kind of see them. There we go, you can kind of see them there. Baby, these are big boys. What? They're big boys. Are they big boys? Yes. <laughs> You're gonna love it. I'm just gonna wipe out a little of the you know, whenever dishes sit around, like there's just always like dust in them. Okay, there we go. turn my heat off and plate these up so that you can see them up close. Mm. So here's one. This is Brandon. It's nice and beautiful. Had to get a thumbnail. <laughs> so those are super hot. So sometimes like, I actually like to cut them in half, so I'm just gonna wait a second. I am gonna cut them in half. I don't know if I wanna cut them on those plates, though. Possibly. This one is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> I can't get over it. <laughs> but I am going to try it for you guys. I just want it to cool down just a little bit. Mm. <laughs> Mitzi's starting to eat her food. So she's throwing it everywhere. So my dog, whenever she starts eating her food, she like makes a game out of it and she just like picks a piece up, throws it in the air like that, and then wherever it lands, she like goes and gets it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put mine back on the cutting board really quick so I can cut it in half so I can show you guys the inside. So here's the inside. I'm gonna see if I can make it focus for you guys. There we go. So you can see the caramelized onion, a little bit of that spinach there the chorizo and the egg. So delightful. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it for you guys. I'll just kind of angle this this way. So delicious. Okay. All right, guys, so I am going to go and eat with Brandon now. I really appreciate you coming to my channel. If you haven't already, subscribe, like the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. Please have a great day or night, wherever you are. Bye, guys.